Hi, in Mio Console 3D R2, we're going to assign the stereo bus to the front panel headphone jack, set up plugins, hard mutes, virtual instruments, and a click. I use my number one ULN8 to drive my near field monitors. I need to assign the main bus output to the front headphone panel jack. When I click on the bus output, I see that it's already assigned to outputs one and two physically. So now I'm going to assign it to the headphone jack as well. I like tracking my drums without EQ to tape or my DAW, so I assign just a kick drum EQ for headphone tracking. So I'm going to use Mio Strip. And I'm going to assign a drum tracking EQ I've already set up previously. I assign the rest of my inputs to have an EQ before tape or DAW so that I can print the EQ compression settings that I like. I don't use any effect on my guitar cabinet mics or my outboard mic prees, so I'm going to go ahead and bypass these effects. But they're always there set up just in case I need them. I have settings I've created for bass, vocals, and acoustic guitar. Here's a setup I use for a jazz bass. A setup for an S758 style microphone. Here's a setup that I use for background vocal overdubs. And one more that I've got for acoustic guitar overdubs. I like to enable the hard mutes on both my inputs and my outputs. I find this is a very helpful feature. By going to the small hamburger menu, I can then make hard mutes visible on all my inputs. This is a great feature to be able to shut off a channel. When selected strips is enabled under link groups, you can turn all of your inputs off or on with one click. I'll create a couple of stereo virtual instrument tracks, which in my case are fed from Easy Keys and Contact. When we add an input source to the mixer, we have to tell the mixer where the input is coming from and what tracks we want to send it to. You can see as we add inputs, they default to the host there's no input assigned, but they are assigned to the main bus. Even though your metric system using MHLink can handle up to 128 I.O., the Pro Tools software I'm using will only handle 32. So my virtual standalone synths are set to inputs 29 through 32, two stereo sets. My click track is set up to come from Pro Tools. This will be a mono track. I like to capture both the audio and the MIDI from my virtual sources. Now let's assign some outputs for these tracks back to the host computer. 
once again, I'm going to assign channels 29 through 32 for my virtual keyboards. I'm not going to assign an output for the click track since it resides in Pro Tools. Let's make a little room for our aux buses and don't forget to save. Coming up in part 3, we're going to set up aux buses for our headphone system.